watch out when umbrella companies promise you that you can take 80, 90 or even 95% of your earnings home after tax. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. My name is Alex. I'm a Chartered Certified Accountant and Tax Consultant. And over the years, I've been dealing with a lot of contractors. In 1999, HMRC tried to clamp down on public sector workers being paid as contractors and introduced IR35. This legislation became effective from 6th of April 2000. At that time, a lot of these umbrella companies saw an opportunity and came up with different schemes, the most famous one being the loan scheme. The contractor loan scheme worked in a way where the contractor would get paid some of their pay through payroll, normal PAYE, they would pay their tax and national insurance contribution, and the majority of their pay would come through an EBT, an employee benefit trust. These loans will remain outstanding for many years, um, and the individual would not pay any tax on those loans. HMRC challenged these later on. It became a huge mess for the taxpayer. They were left with umbrella companies that were no longer around to help them and HMRC inquiries for many years. They would have to end up settling with HMRC, paying the tax and the interest for late payment. The most famous thing that's gone on with these contractor loans is the April 2019 loan charge. This legislation ensured that in, anyone that hasn't settled with HMRC would have to pay a massive loan charge. Now, the point of this video is not to go back in history. What we're trying to say to you is be careful when these umbrella companies approach you. I had two contractors approach me this week, both talking about different schemes that have been offered by these umbrella companies. One of them mentioning an annuity option, the other one, an option grant. Be careful when you are offered anything like this. HMRC have already mentioned annuity options in their Spotlight 35. You, I'll link down under this, this uh, video, Spotlight 35 and 45 for you to read. HMRC have already again made it clear that they believe these schemes, these annuity schemes or option grant schemes don't work and they will be looking to challenge them under the same uh, loan charge legislation. So be careful, read what I'm going to link under this video. It's important that you understand what you get yourself into. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a message and I'll make sure to get back to you. Be wise, take advice.